iPad here. So I can um, see the chat. So just a second, there I am. Okay. And there we are. Very good. There we are. Let me turn the sound down. All right. And we will remove this stuff out. We're going to be doing some jelly printing today. And I will wait for people to come on. I'm running just about five minutes late today. Sorry about that. I had to jump in the shower really quick. I looked at the time. I was like, oh. Okay, we have five people on, but we don't have anybody in the chat yet. So just one second, you guys. I'm going to grab my jelly plate. Here's the jelly plate. You know what? Let's take it off of the glass mat. I don't need the glass mat. There we go. Love this glass mat, but we don't need that for this. Right, let me not break the glass mat. Alrighty. Okay. We're still waiting for some people to get onto the chat. Let's take this off of here. These are just little placemats that I use to keep my jelly plate nice and moist. It's like my cover for my homemade 11 by, I think, 17 jelly plate. Okay, we got some people on. Let me say hi to people. How funny. All three of you guys came on at the same time. You guys all popped on. Bam. Hey, Northern Snowbird, how are you doing? Hey, Melissa. And hey, Joni, how are you? So good to see you guys. We're going to do some jelly plating today. Hey, Carrie, how are you doing? Oh, let me get this out of the way. We're going to do some jelly plate plating today. I haven't jelly plated for a while. Well, I jelly plated last week. I shouldn't say that. But I haven't jelly plated with... Right, let's do it like that. I haven't jelly plated it with paint. I've been using watercolors. And I want to do some paint, jelly plate with some paint, and I want to use things that I haven't used for a long time on the jelly plate. We're just going to go jelly plate crazy. Who just came on? Okay. So I just have a whole bunch of stuff I picked up. I, I won't go through it all. I, I wanted to only pick like, like six things to use on the jelly plate. You guys should see the pile of crap that I have for this jelly plate. Crazy. What am I gonna use first? I know what I'm gonna use first. Check this out. I'm gonna use this potato masher. So the, I'm gonna use some odd things, which is really leaves a really cool imprint on the jelly plate. Never even took up the tag. I got this from Dollar Tree. Um, what else do I wanna use on the jelly plate to, to start out? I want to use some things I haven't used in a long time. I haven't used this cool foam stamp. We're going to use that right away. And then these. I've been wanting to use these. Um, they don't actually stamp out too well with ink. So, yay! Northern, Bird, Northern Snowbird says, yay, jelly printing! And um, so I'm going to use this on the plate. And I haven't... I don't think I've ever used this one on the plate. So I pulled these from my stash. They're ones that really don't stamp out well. I've even sanded them because I've heard you can sand them, but they still don't, I don't know. They still don't print out too good with ink. So anyway, no, okay, just a second. We got to organize. Let me organize myself. There's a novel idea. Organizing myself. Okay. No, that can go back here. These can stay here. All right. I'm also going to use some of this stuff. These are my um, pieces I usually use like in my Finnebear art. They're all made out of either resin or plaster of Paris. I seen a girl do um, a really cool, you know, you guys know I like to make things look like old walls, old, old walls, old doors, whatever. Very funky. And she did a, a page and she used some stuff like this, like all these gears. So I want to use that too. We're going to do that first. Let's do the gears plus the potato masher. All right, let me see who else has popped in or said something. 
Joni says, oops, wrong channel before. Let me try again. Hello, everyone. Excited to see what you were making today. Oh, very good. Okay. So I'm just, what I'm doing, I don't know if you heard okay, already, I'm going to be doing some jelly printing. And I'm going to print with really weird things like that potato masher. I'm going to jelly print with this potato masher. I'm going to use a bunch of stamps that, I'm, that um, don't really work with ink, but they'll probably work putting impressions in the jelly plate. So I'm going to use those. I'm going to use this stamp. I'm going to use these. I seen a girl, I just was talking about this. I seen a girl use these gears on her channel. She did some really cool, funky, steampunky, old wall looking. So there we go. That's what we're doing. Hey, Patty, how are you doing? Okay. Patty says she's bounding in between me and Z. Okay. Let me look at some paint colors. Let's do, let's do Patty Tolly Parish's favorite. Turquoise! So we're going to do some turquoise. We'll do some brown. Patty says it's going great. Good. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Patty goes, yay! And let me use this color here. This is fabulous. Also, I want to throw some metallics down on black cardstock, too, because that's so dramatic looking. Um, all right, let's just start out with these three colors. And we'll just keep grabbing stuff. These are uh, Deltas. I got these at a great price, you guys. $1.49. They were regularly $5.99 when Hobby Lobby was doing their, well, they're always doing their clearance, but when they were doing their clearance a few months ago on the paints, I bought a ton of these. And then I'm going to use Master's Touch. And this is the brown red. It really is like a metallic copper color. All right, let's do blue first. Let's do some turquoise. And I like this shade of turquoise. And I have a ton of them. I was so happy when I seen it. I was like, yes. It's like, yes. <laughs> some brown. And this copper color. I don't know why they call it brown red. It, it's totally copper. All right. In fact, am I almost out of this? I need to get another one of these. Hopefully this week at uh, Hobby Lobby, they have their half off. Um, hopefully they have their half off uh, Master's Touch. I hope. I don't think they had it last week. I don't know. Do I have any more of that anywhere? Oh, I sure don't. All right. Let me see if anybody else popped on yet. Okay. All right. I want to use my small brayer, but I don't know what I did with it. Where is it? This one's kind of, it's not really big, but I have a smaller one and I actually like that smaller one the best, but I don't know what I did with it. <clears throat> and I've cleaned my studio and I still didn't find it. I thought, oh, I'll find it when I clean. Oh man. Okay. As Froyal Arts would say, oh man, she always says that. It's so funny. Whenever she's making a video about something, she always goes, when she has to make a choice about which paper to use in her collage, she's always like, oh man. <laughs> she's cute. I love Froyal Arts. You guys go visit Froyal Arts. She's awesome. Love her. She's a mixed media artist. I'm in her Facebook group. I belong to her channel. She's great. Patty, did you see, um, if you're still on here, did you see, um, the video I was thanking you for all that awesome happy mail that you sent me it just post it just I think it just posted maybe I don't know 15 20 minutes ago I'm sorry about being a little late with that I meant to post the video days ago but girl you just run out of time with all everything that you have to do oh this is good this is going to be pretty. I kind of like to run colors into each other so they kind of, so I don't have no di distinct lines. And then let's just run it up a little bit just, just to have a little better blend. And I'm doing my roll off, you can see, on magazines. I love, um, I love how a magazine um, collage is down. It just, it's really nice. And also, um, I love the feeling of the paint built up on the magazines. You wouldn't think that that would work out too good, but it does. Okay. 
So to put some impressions, we're gonna first we're gonna start out with some of these these uh, gears. And these are those gears that I like to use for, for my finibar art. So we'll press these in here. Cool. Oh, these are impressing good. Awesome. Okay. All right, this is kind of fun. All right. So let's take those off of there. And then let's also use the potato masher. That'll put some cool design in here. And you know what else to get just crazy? Let's put in, let's see if I have it handy. Let's put the um, shower mat or the bath mat, one of my favorites. Let's do that at the bottom. I've been loving in the jelly plate to like add a lot of different things instead of just one thing, add like a lot of different impressions. Comes out pretty cool. This plate looks dry, but sometimes when the plates, well, most of the time when the plates dry, it makes some cool impressions. Because what I like to do is I like, to, I, do, I don't mind getting a nice impression, but then after that, I want to get some old walls. So you guys are like, Angela, we already know, okay? I'll check chat here in just a second. I feel like I need more design in here. All right, there we go. All right, let's see what we get and then I'll check chat in just a second. I love to chew on ice. Like when ice has been melted down I love chewing on it. So good to me. Okay. All right, let's. Ooh, very cool. Now I'm gonna reprint over because I want some more on here, but we got a good start. Look at that. That looks fabulous. Very old wall looking, but more brown needs to be in here. Even if I just left this like this and then threw coffee on it, that would be cool too. Oh, this is cool. This plate is dry, but a dry plate makes some cool prints. Like, look at this. This is cool. But I definitely want to imprint a little bit more on there. Let's try just going right back over where the turquoise is and see what that does. And then we'll go right back over this. You know what, my plate might be a little bit dry because I used alcohol on it last weekend. I think it was the last podcast. Yeah, I think I used alcohol with the watercolors. <clears throat> yeah, the plate's still a little bit dry. So let's just try down here at the bottom. See if we can pull up anything else. And then we'll just put more paint on it. But this is cool having all these dry bits on here. That means that when it does pull up, it's going to pull up really cool prints. Really cool old walls, old doors. Okay, we pulled up a little bit more. So I'm going to put these aside and we're going to apply some more paint. And then we'll re-pull these. And I said this last time that I did when I that I did when I did um used acrylic. Instead of building up the plate, I want to build up the uh, paper because I have a better chance of of building up my papers than I have building up the plate of getting more old walls. I mean, I, I, I will get old walls, but I'll get a whole lot more if I keep just reprinting on the same pages until I get what I want. So that's what I've discovered. So build up the papers instead of building up the plate. You're going to still build up the plate too, though. Okay, let me see what people are saying. Melissa says, cool. Patty says, no worries. Just glad you got it. Uh, no, not yet. Okay, you haven't seen the video yet. Yeah, I just put a video out. Going crazy over all the goodies. Patty, thank you so much. I love everything you sent me. Oh, you know me so well. We have the same style. You know me so well. All that Asian, all those Asian papers you gave me with the Asian um, script. Oh, 
fabulous. I love the book pages that are written. I'm not sure which language that is, but it's fabulous. There was just so much. The fabrics that you, I think maybe, I don't know if you jelly printed them. There's, I, I got questions. Like, there's like, tw like get a pencil out because I have like, th like 10 questions. <laughs> um, Northern Snowbird says, Master's Touch is priced this week. So it's on sale this week, Northern Snowbird? Yes, girl. Yes, Patty. Love those. I love everything you sent me. Everything. Just fabulous. Hey, Jonies. Not so fast life. How are you doing? I'm just looking back up, making sure if I haven't missed anybody. Hi, Becky B. Welcome in. How are you doing? Becky B says, hi, watching for the first time. Saw you yesterday on Yarn Geek. Oh, very good. Um, Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming by and, and checking me out. Uh, Joni says, watching with my daughter. She's loving what you're doing. Oh, cool. Hi, Joni's daughter. Okay, so, yeah, let's put some more stuff on this jelly plate. Let's put some different colors. Let's go for brown up here, or dark, dark brown. Let's go for uh, my, my favorite colors, parchment gray. They say warm gray. This to me is like putty color, and I love it. Let's do putty. And then let's do turquoise again. And then on the plate, we still have this stuff on here. See all the stuff that's still on here? That's all going to be pulled up too, eventually. Bit by bit, or maybe this next pull. Who knows? Who knows? And this is why I love jelly printing, because you don't know what you're going to get. But my goal always is old walls, old doors, rock walls, and caves. Like one one girl's like one of my subby's daughter said, why does everything she looks looks like it came out of the um out of the ground? Ha! I love it. Okay, look at this. Isn't that fabulous, you guys? That looks like an old wall, doesn't it? And that's just my roll off sheet on a magazine. Fabulous. Fabulous. You know, I'm going to spray this plate with just a tad bit of water, just a little bit, because it is, it is dry. Some dry, I mean, dryness is good on your jelly plate, but not too much dryness. Like, I think it's too much. So let's just throw, not alcohol, where's the water? There we go. Just throw a little bit of water on here. Just a little. Just a nice mist. And then, um, let's use some of these stamps. I have them right here. Let's use this one. Put some impressions in. Did I get a... I, I can't even tell if I got a good impression. This brown is so dark. We'll just go over it twice. All right. Now there's this stamp. Let's go over it. Let's use this one. I know some people are ready to have a heart attack that I'm taking this big old expensive stamp and using it on my jelly plate. But the thing about it is, is this, the, these two stamps that I have like this, they never stamped out right. I even took a sand block to them. Cause sometimes they say they have like a film on them and it's, they still didn't stamp out very good, but look, they're leaving a good impression in the jelly plate though. So there's a little, there's a top tip for you. If you have a stamp that's not stamping out, use it on your jelly plate. You guys know me. I use everything on this damn jelly plate. <laughs> okay. I was sad about this stamp not working until I just thought, jelly plate. Okay. Let's get to, let's go back to the ones that we um, were originally had here. Okay, so we should be able to get some good stuff on here. I'm thinking. Do I want to go like, yeah, we'll go like this. And we'll go back and reprint on this one. I think they're going to be cool because there's already it's already cool. We just need a little more on there, right? 
right. Uh, Patty says, have you seen Robin's new art foamies? Several with girl. Yes. And I told her that I'm going to order them. I, I hopefully she's Patty. Does she still have them in stock? I meant to order those already. And I actually forgot to order those. I want to order them a couple days ago. I got to do that. I told her, I said, I'm ordering your, your, your stamps, your foam stamps. I think they're awesome. I think everything about her, her and her style is awesome. And, um, and then I'm going to, Definitely um, um, do a total video about and use her stamps or her uh, foam stamps. Yeah, I think they're fabulous. I think the script ones are, I think they're all fabulous. You know what? I'm just getting ready to spend a hundred bucks and buy them all because I want them all. I, I When I saw her video, I was like, I must have all these. All art foamies will not run out of stock producing them all. Oh, per fabulous. I'll, you know, I'm going to try to get on the, um, get on today and order those. Do you still have a, um, can you still save like, I don't know, 10 or 20% if I use your, um, I don't know, your discount code or something like that? Because I think you also were using them in a video, right? Oh, this is cool. Check it out. I love, this is so old world, so old wall. See how my plate was dry, how cool that is, how that came up like that? The copper in there. You couldn't create that on purpose if you tried. Fabulous. I love it. I love jelly printing. It's such a high. <laughs> and I don't have to damage any brain cells for it. <laughs> um, look at this. Oh, Patty, I think you probably would like this. Isn't that look fabulous? Oh, I love this. This came out cool. Yeah. Loving that. Okay. Let's do some more. <laughs> Patty goes, love it. <laughs> I knew she'd love that one because she loves turquoise. So <laughs> all that turquoise on there, I'm sure she was like, yes, ma'am. Yes, let's, let's bust out with this turquoise. Look, I, Patty, you know what? I've been uh, jelly printing with these... Um, these from Dollar Tree, these acrylic paints from Dollar Tree, they work good on the jelly plate. And look at this cool color. Girl, get your some of these, self some of these from Dollar Tree. I think you'll like them. I mean, they're a dollar. Well, no, not now. They're a dollar twenty-five, which perturbs me. But what can we do? The prices of everything is going up. There's nothing we can do about it. Okay, let's use. In fact, let's just go for all of these that are a dollar from Dollar Tree. We'll use the red oxide and the deep brown. I mean, Patty, look at these colors. I mean, look, they have this, this. You guys, uh, visit Patty's channel if you guys haven't already and join her channel. Um, she's an awesome artist and she does a lot of jelly printing too and a lot of mixed media and a lot of collage. So go visit Patty's channel. Patty, look at these. Dollar Tree. And you're gonna see, these work out nicely on this jelly plate. You wouldn't think so, but they do. You know, let's put, okay, I love putting this color. I love putting a red oxide right by a turquoise. All right, there we go. Let's throw a little, you know, let's throw a little gold in here. This is Master's Touch Gold. Love this. Let's throw a little of that in there, here and there. Let's load up this plate. So we'll put some there, and we'll put some here. All right, there we go. Uh, Northern Snowbird says jelly printing is instant gratification. Girl, yes. I love it. Because I don't have any patience for nothing. I really don't. I want to see instant results. Patty said, can't hate that. <laughs> One dollar? I mean, dollar twenty-five for paint? Oh, Lord, that's a good deal. And if, it's, if it works good, it's even better. And it works nice. Okay, yeah, Patty said, I did, Patty said, I did a vid for Robin with the foamies. Not sure if the code still works. Okay. And whether the code works or not, girl, I'm still getting them. I'm still getting all those. Uh, I'm still getting all those foam stamps. Unless this is gorgeous. Thank you, girl. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh. Um. What am I doing? 
I barely know how to roll things out without that small one, especially when I want to roll out colors like this. That's why I'm having to do it like this because I can't find that roller. What did I do with it? I don't know. You know what? I don't even worry about it because you know what happens is you, when you're cleaning one day or when you're looking for something else, you'll find it. There it is. That's when I find stuff when I'm looking for something else. Okay. What's cool is there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of paint stuck underneath here. So some cool stuff is going to be happening. You know, this is too much, too much the sameness right here. All right, we need to like break that up with something. What are we going to, oh my gosh, I'm bringing another turquoise. Oh, look at this. Oh, <gasps> emerald green. This is another type of turquoise. I don't consider this emerald green. This, to me, this is another like greenish turquoise, which I love. Let's put that right there. This will look a lot better now that we've broken up those browns. I mean, one was red oxide and one was a brown, but I don't know. They were looking too close together. Okay. We have a lot of paint on here. So this is about to look really, really cool, I think. All right. What do we want to do? You know what? Let's do my favorite really quick instant. We're going to talk about instant gratification. Here's some instant gratification for all of us. The good old bath mat that fits my jelly plate. This better fit my jelly plate. Did I choose the right one? Yes, I did. Love this right here. So they have these at Dollar Tree. Most of you guys know this, but for those who don't know, they have this at Dollar Tree and I bought, well, I bought a ton of these. You know, I need to give these away. Hopefully I can find some of these. I, I, I bought a bunch and I bought some to give away and I want to give every whoever wins them, give them two at a time because you can get one, cut it to the shape of your um, jelly plate and then take the other one and cut it up you know into squares cut it into a row of two a row of three cut it in a square yeah this is this is a really cool from two bath mats you can get a lot of texture plates fabulous All right, let's just mix this up a little bit. Let's throw some potato masher in there, just here and there, just to like break things up. There we go. Do you want to throw anything else in there? Just to add interest. Let's, let's do some of the gears. Just here and there. Let's get crazy on this jelly plate. I've missed jelly plating. I haven't really jelly plate. I mean, I jelly plated it last week with the watercolors, but I haven't done it with acrylics for like, I don't know, like three weeks, three or four weeks. So that's why I'm, I'm on a jelly print high because I haven't used my jelly plate enough. And I love doing it. So, okay. Let me see what paper I want to use. I got a bunch of cool paper over here. All right. I'm using, um, I didn't like this side was something else weird, but I'm going to use this side. And I'm trying to, I'm checking out some different papers. This is like drawing paper. This right here, like a brown drawing paper, which I love. And this is the paper I got from Daiso right here. The extra thick calligraphy paper from Daiso that they have now. So we're just using some different papers. I'm going to use some deli paper today too. I haven't been using deli paper enough. And I need to. I have a ton of it. All right. Let's see what happened. Ooh. Fabulous. Look at that one. Don't you love that um, that turquoise green color? Fabulous against that brown. And then some little specks of copper right there. That looks fabulous. And you guys, I'm excited because I'm, I got me the metallics out and I got some black cardstock and we'll do some stuff on that too. Oh, I like this too. Check this out. Look how old wall that is. I like this, but the only thing I would change about this is spray it with some coffee. 
In fact, let's just do it right now. I got the coffee right here. There we go. Oh, if anybody wants to know, for one, I got this beautiful bottle. I bought a bunch of them. Dollar Tree. Where else do I get stuff? Okay. Well, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and um, you can get the co instant coffee from there. And what I, I learned this from uh, Robin McClendon. She always keeps the coffee, this coffee sprayer right by her. So she can just spray anything coffee. And I thought, genius idea. So if you want to make it nice and dark, use like three-fourths cup of the instant coffee from Dollar Tree and then or from anywhere it doesn't matter but they have it there and then um and like one cup of water so it makes it really nice and dark so fabulous look see how that just changed that instantly and just looks even more cool love it love it all right let me see what you guys are saying wait i got a first i <laughs> wet this baby wipe a little bit more. All right, what is people what are people saying? Melissa says she loves the colors. Patty says back nice. Hey Natalie 1808, how are you doing? Welcome in and thank you. Patty, what does BRB mean? bring your own brush i don't know let me know northern snowboard says jelly printing is instant gratification yeah i read that already okay oh good natalie i'm glad you're doing good good okay you know what i got a lot of paint on here now let's just keep building up this plate who cares i think it'll just be fabulous okay i love these three colors together i love um okay Someone said they'll be right back. Okay, Natalie. Uh, I love gray together with um, like this taupey color or putty and brown. That looks really fabulous. What color brown do I want to use? I think I want to use, I there's hardly any of that left. This? Yeah, let's go with this. Or should I use this brown? Shoot, we'll do both. We'll, we'll do this, this combo first. We'll do this combo first. Okay. And then, of course, we're going to get some turquoise and whatever else is on this plate. So, it'll be fabulous. <laughs> I got to take a little um, a little stock of my um, paints. I'm getting a little low on some things. Like that putty color, I'm getting low on that. You can't have that. I'm glad... Um, that uh, Hobby Lobby has their paints on clearance this week, not clearance, I wish it was clearance, uh, on 50% off, because I got to go stock up on some colors. Okay, this is good. What does this look like? All right. There we go. Oh, BRB means be right back. Okay. <laughs> I should have figured that out. Um, Patty's going in between me and Xander's channel. Which makes me feel kind of bad because I thought that I was, I was like before Xander and Xander was after me, but I guess not. It's hard. I was trying to get a time where other people I knew weren't um, streaming, but it's hard. It's hard. It's hard with the time set. You know what's also hard is you don't, you think you only, you only go by what time it is where you live, but that doesn't take into account where somebody else lives, you know? So yeah, it's hard. All right. Uh, this is another stamp. I ended up buying two of them when they were on clearance at Hobby Lobby for like a dollar something. So I've got two of them. One to use as a regular stamp and then one for my jelly plate. Oh, this is 
this is cool. Well, this leaves a good impression in the plate. Fabulous. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to show you something that's going to go good with that. This right here, I got at Dollar Tree also. This is really fabulous. I get, I, I have this in my giveaways. I bought extra. These. These are for Legos, but they leave a fabulous impression in your jelly plate. So, let's put that down here. Okay. So if you have kids and they have a little base plate, you can steal it. Just kidding. <laughs> Just go to Dollar Tree and get yourself one. You would make your kid very sad if you took their, their plate like this for their Legos. They'd be like, Mom, what are you doing? Okay, and then um, this is um, one of my faves. I've used it for years. It's a placemat. It was, And this is just one of the petals. I totally cut it up. I got it at Dollar Tree. I've never seen it at Dollar Tree since. But then I seen um, a 99 cent haul. And um, I saw the, the type of um, placemats there. And I actually meant to go and see if I could find them. And I never did. I go to Dollar Tree all the time. I have three Dollar Trees that are like five minutes. One is 30 seconds from my house. And the other two are like five minutes. The 99 cent store is like, I don't know, 10 minutes away. It's not really that far. But it's not down the street. And it's not the greatest 99 cent store. So I only go there once in a while. All right, let's see how this is gonna turn out. I need to wipe my hands off. There we go, they're getting sticky. Oh, I like how this has turned out. I wasn't really paying attention. My magazine, my roll-off sheet over here, that's on the magazine. Look at this came out cool. We're gonna leave that. I love that. I love the roll-off sheets, how awesome they come out. All right, let's back to this paper here and there we go God, time goes fast. It's already been 45 minutes, you guys. Can you believe it? Crazy. Okay. Ooh, this is dark but cool. It's really dark, but I like it. Check it out. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's really dark, but I like it. And I love the little bits right here. All right. That's a keeper. Ooh, I like this, too. I feel like I want to add a little bit more to it, but I like it. See how very old wall. But I, I feel like there needs to be a little bit more color on here. Let me go to the bottom and try... Let me see what I can pick up off the bottom really quick. Oh! All right, I'm gonna read, I like this one, but I just feel like it needs to be a little bit, I don't know, well, do I like it? We'll put it to the side. I'm liking it. I think it's very old wall. You know, you know what? I like it. Never mind. I'm really looking at it now. I really like it. I'm leaving it. Yeah, I love it. Very cool. All right, I gotta get a baby wipe. A new one. My hands are sticky. All right. And I'll read chat here in just a second. Let me just grab a couple baby wipes out of here. Put these back. Okay. 
Thank goodness for the baby wipes. What would we do without the baby wipes? I don't know. All right, let me see what people are saying. Oh, Northern Snowbirds said Amazon has the placemats, has that placemat. How much are they? Uh, Snowbird. Oh, you seen some cool place placements at Daiso? Oh, cool. I, w I haven't been to Daiso for probably two months. We have one just, they just, it just came here last December. And um, I haven't seen any cool placemats there. I'll have to check them out the next time I go. Um, okay. Let me just go up and just read everyone's comments here. Uh, Renee, oh, welcome in Renee. How are you doing today? Uh, Renee says, love your spirit. I love yarn and just had to continue watching your crafting. Oh, you are so sweet. Thank you, Renee. Were you at uh, the live, uh, Ginger's Live yesterday? Is that where? Very sweet of you. Thank you so much. Okay. Melissa says, love the colors. Thank you. Thank you. Natalie says, oh, pretty. Thank you. Okay, I think that's everything. Hey, Snowbird. Um, hey, Debbie, how are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, Snowbird, um, you may not know the exact price, but do you remember around what the price of the placemats were? Hey, Renee. Wait, did I already say hi to you? <laughs> Renee, if I just say hi to you, hello and welcome in. Glad to have you. Uh, Debbie says, oops, hi, Angie and Chatters. <laughs> okay, so we're jelly plating. For people who have just come in, we're jelly plating. And how I like to do jelly plating is I like to make things look like old walls, old doors, old caves. Basically, like it came out of the ground. <laughs> so, that's what we're doing. All right. All right, I'm filling, all of a sudden I'm filling this gold. So we're going to put this gold up here. Let's get this paint off my finger. All right. There we go. This gold is kind of stuck. Okay, come on out. There we go. And the gold I'm using is this one, the Master's Touch. Just gold. It's beautiful. And let's use some turquoise. You know, let's go back to that green, that greenish turquoise. These are all Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. <coughs> I love them. Absolutely love them. Love that. And we need to have some type of a, a brown. And let's use the Dollar Tree brown. Dollar Tree paints. If you guys want some affordable paints to use on your jelly plate, um, this brand of acrylic. Now, make sure you don't get that other one. It's like more of a kid's type of paint. I forgot what you call it. Anyway, make sure it says acrylic, okay? And this is what it looks like. These, they're $1.25, and you're getting a lot of paint in these for $1.25, and they work great on the jelly plate. So, I mean, you're doing better than you are buying the bottles of acrylic paints, buying these. And if you want to get into jelly printing and you don't have a jelly plate, um, I have a video that t teaches you how to make a jelly plate. So just look under my look under my playlist under mixed media, and you'll see the video um, of how to make a jelly plate. And you can make it like this one's an 11 by 17, and I made it on a cookie sheet. And um, if you were to buy one of these, for, I forgot what's that brand name, whatever the brand name is of the jelly plates. Um, you're looking at 80 bucks. They're expensive for this bigger one. And then if you're looking at just like a regular, like a 10 by, I don't know, an eight, like a 10 by 12, something like that, you're looking at like 30 bucks. But if you make it the way I made it, I can make one this big for $15. So you're saving a lot of money. And this is the other thing. If your plate gets like, you know, any indentions get in it or it starts just, I don't know, being a mess, you can just cut it up, remelt it in the microwave, and then pour it again. So, you don't have to worry. Oh, this is going to be pretty. 
I'm liking these colors right next to each other. Look how pretty that's going to be. Gorgeous. Let's just run some of this up like that just to kind of blend things a little bit. Okay. Am I liking my roll-off sheet yet? Eh, not quite yet. All right, let's pick out some other cool stuff um, that I haven't used yet. Okay, let's use some actual texture plates. Okay, this is really cool. See this right here? This is an Aztec calendar, and I absolutely love it. Um, and I have another one, too. Well, let's just use this one. Let's just let's print this out. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Okay, how do I want to do this? Yeah, we'll do it like this. Okay. Nice. And let's do another one down here. Make sure we get a good impression. And when you're jelly printing, if you are if you get into this or you already jelly print, just always, like whenever you're anywhere, just always be looking at stuff that you can use on your jelly plate that you can make impressions. Like look in things in the kitchen section, like if, especially if you're a Dollar Tree, look in the kitchen section, look in the kids section. Just always be looking for things that you can make impressions with. You know, I didn't, I, 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 I need to do this. The next time I go to Dollar Tree, I saw... Um, there was flip-flops there, and on the back of flip-flops, a lot of times they have a really cool impression. Those would be cool to use on the jelly plate. So I need to check out the flip-flops before they sell them all out the next time I go to Dollar Tree, which I'm sure will be soon, because I'm obsessed with Dollar Tree. Okay. How cool. All right, people, we're about to see some coolness here. And if we don't run out of time, we might do some embellishing with some stencils on some pages that I have. If we have time at the end, because I do want to use some metallics on black cardstock because that always comes out really, really cool. And I, don't, I think I'm really running low on my um, jelly prints that are on the black cardstock with metallics. I think I'm running low on that. Okay. All right, let's see. Yes. Ooh, love it. Love it. Look at this very cool so old wall so just coolness oh i love it let me bring that up a little bit more so you can really see that design in there there you go very cool looks like something you dug out of the ground like some i don't know historical something love it It looks exactly what I said. It's an Aztec map, uh, uh, yeah, an Aztec, an Aztec calendar. It looks like some old Aztec calendar is what it looks like. Okay, now I love this, but um, it needs a little browning out. I feel like it needs a little coffee. Let me look, go up a little tight, closer to this. Okay, now see how cool this is, but this can be more cool. So let's take some coffee to it. And am I afraid of spraying my jelly plate with the coffee? No. <laughs> That'll just add to the whole thing. That'll just add to it. Fabulous. Check it out. See how that just improved it by adding the coffee? And it's not even dry yet. Oh, jeez. 
See? That's going to be cool when that dries, but it's already cool. It's even made it better. Let me put this on the ground carefully. Okay, there we go. Almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> All right, let me see what you guys are saying. Debbie said, fabulous pulls. Thank you. Patty says, love it. I got that texture plate. You have it too? Did you get it from Zandra? I got it from Zandra when she was clearancing, um, sadly, clearancing um, when she was closing her store. And um, I, it came in a, a whole bunch of them she had put together or it came as a package. So, Natalie says, yes, yes, yes. Love that. Kiwi's Corner. Hey, girl. How are you doing? You guys, Kiwi is hitting the jackpot this week. She won, okay, there's a lady in Bag o Day Crochet, and she's a crocheter. She has close to a million followers. And Kiwi, um, she um, entered a giveaway of uh, Bag o Day Crochet. And uh, it's insane. The the giveaway, her giveaway, her giveaways are always insane. It's the hugest box of yarn ever. Huge. And she won. And um, then Crystal threw in some very expensive yarn. Kiwi, what is it? I can't say the word. Mago, Maga, it's something. Anyway, some expensive yarn that she wanted. She threw that in there. And then even the even better than the yarn, she totally called her out. She um, showed everybody her um, her uh, YouTube channel. She put it on her community channel. And she, I think Kiwi said she went from like 100 subscribers uh, up, she's up to 500 subscribers. So I'm like, yay, Kiwi! That was awesome. You get tons of subscribers and a ton of yarn. <laughs> awesome. Oh, you got it on eBay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yes, Melissa, that's the word I was looking for. Make sure that you don't, when you go, if you get your some pa this acrylic paint, you don't get the tempera paint. I think the bottles almost look similar, so don't get tempera. Tempera is that's like a kid's paint, and it's not that great. But get make sure you get the acrylic. Yeah, that's the word tempera. Joni, did I say hi to you yet? I think I did. If I did it, Joni, welcome in. I think I did say hi to you already. I think you're saying hi to somebody else. <laughs> yeah, Melissa said temper paint, kids paint, not to use. Exactly. Uh, Snowbird said it costed more than I wanted to spend. Daiso would be a better option. I think it would be about $6. Um, Renee says, thank you for the update. Never saw this before. Can't wait to see the finished project. Evelyn. Now, Evelyn, I don't think I've welcomed you in yet. Welcome, welcome. So nice to have you. Just a second, guys. Just a second. I'll be right back. Oh. Okay, never mind. It was just... Can you believe they deliver mail on Sundays? I didn't know who that was that walked up. My window's open, so I'm like, who the heck is that? But they actually deliver mail on Sundays. I'm sure it was probably Amazon. All right, let me finish reading what you guys are saying. Uh... Like I said, Evelyn, welcome in. So glad to have you. If I haven't said hi to you yet, I don't think I have. I always look forward to your videos. Love your personality. Very sweet of you, Evelyn. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Okay. Let me go back down to the bottom here. Yeah, Natalie says the bottles do look similar. Hi, Mari. How are you doing? Welcome in. You're welcome, Evelyn. Okay, I think I've gotten everybody for right now. Okay, you know what? I'm itching to pull this up on this plate, you guys. So, what are we going to use to pull it up? Oh, I forgot about my metallics. Okay, let me get this out. Just a second. Hope I don't cause a crafty avalanche trying to get to these. Okay, I think I'm okay. These, I find, are great. I'll show you. Any of the metallics are great to pull up stuff off the plate. Also, these are good to do a... Um, 
to just add some sheen to a, an existing jelly print. And I learned that from Robin McClendon. I forgot what she calls it. She called it a certain word. Glazing. You can glaze a jelly print with these and it looks gorgeous. It adds a gold like finish to it or a rose gold finish depending on what you use. But you can also use, use these on the plate to pick up um, what's left on here because they're all very... When you use the, the, um, the craft ones, the craft golds, they're very translucent. You can see through them. This gold right here is not translucent. This is very you know it's you can't see through it so let's use some of this let's use the rose gold this one so that's another way to embellish your jelly prints when they don't look that great you can take this put it on the plate and then take your existing jelly print and put it on top of here and pull it off and it puts a like a rose gold or a gold glaze over it comes out really pretty you can even do it to like a pearl a pearl color like this like these in pearl oh I put a lot on here I didn't mean to put this much on here but it's okay it'll be fabulous <laughs> I hope <laughs> all right let's Let's pull what's up on this plate off here and see what we come up with. Exciting! Patty, while you're, if you're still on here, what I want to know is you, ha you had these, I think they were jelly prints, and then you had, what do you call it? You had script on top of it in gold and it was like perfectly it's not like it was stamped on there i don't know what it was do you know what i'm talking about if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll show you just to remind you but and you had it on quite a few um i think it was on top of jelly prints i think Okay. And for those of you guys, this is your first time to my channel. You know, let me let me show you guys what I do with these. When I say I use them in collages, I'm going to go get my collage book here in just a second so you guys can just see where I'm going with this. Because you're like, okay, you got all these prints. What do you do with them? I'm going to show you guys. Look how cool this came out. I love this. This looks like such an old wall, and I love that right there. Look how old wall this looks. Like a just a torn up, dilapidated, grungy wall. Love it. And with my jelly printing, for those of you guys who are the first time to my channel, that's all I'm ever trying to create is grunge. Okay. I don't want right. I, I some perfect prints are fine, but I really like the grunge. Look at that. Very old wall. Look how much turquoise pulled up off that plate absolutely this is fabulous I bet you Patty likes this one cool all right let me bust out my um I did I participated in 100 days of collage with Froyal Arts you guys check out Froyal Arts f-r-o-y-l-e she is an awesome mixed media artist also and um I was I did her 100 days of collage challenge so I'm gonna show you my journal for a few pages so you guys can see where I'm going with all this. My OGs know exactly where I'm going with all this, but for those of you guys who are new, I'll show you. I'll show you. Let me just take the jelly plate away for just a second. We'll be right back to the jelly plate. Oh, this thing's heavy. This is, um, this is some Finnebear art that I did. Um, for the cover. And I did this on video also. This is a few Sundays back. You can check that out of how I created that. Isn't that cool? Okay. 
So what I'm doing is I'm mixing a lot of different mixed media type of art together. So this is a whole nother way of doing mixed media art. And I love it. I need to do some of this. I haven't done it for a while. These are pieces I, I, I got molds from Finnebear. And these are um, molds that I poured. I poured plaster of Paris into molds. And then you, it's, it's another form of collage. Then you collage them all together. And then there's collage in the background. So that's how I did that. And like I said, I did this on video. Okay, let me just show you. Okay, this thing is really fat. That's why this thing is like huge on this one side. So sorry about that. It looks a little crazy. But anyway, this is what I'm doing with the collage, with the with the with all these collage prints. See, these are the different things. So that's a jelly print. That's a jelly print. That's a jelly print. This at the bottom is a jelly print. And I put them all together. These are butterflies from Dollar Tree. This is another page. Jelly print, jelly print, jelly print. Butter butterfly from um, Hobby Lobby. A feather I painted. These are really cool vintage-y looking stickers that you get at Dollar Tree. If you see these, I would pick them up. They're fabulous. This right here is a jelly print, but then I did my intuitive scripting on top of that. Um, just a second, my camera's in the way. This is a na I, I've painted several um, native warriors, um, and this is a native warrior. And um, I painted a whole series of native warriors, and so this is a print of it. And I tore it out, I printed it out, then I tore it, and then I burnt the edges for the focal point here. These are feathers that I painted. I have a uh, Sundays, I have some um, Sunday uh, lives that I've done where I painted feathers. You can look at that. This is a jelly print, jelly print, jelly print, jelly print, jelly print. This is another jelly print. And this, I did, I did some stenciling over jelly print. And that's what I want to do today. Take some of my jelly prints and do some stenciling over it. If we get a chance. This is, um, Manu what's his name? Manucha? What the heck's his name? Mucha's work. And um, I did that as another little side focal point. This is a map, my Cocopelli that I drew out. Um, this is from the Asian newspapers that I collect in Chinatown, and then I age them. This is a jelly print with a stencil, another jelly print. So you can see what I'm talking about. This is where I, where, what I do with these, um, with these jelly prints. These are done in colors that are like this this week um when foil arts was doing the 100 days of collage she every week she'd have a color and you could you could do that color or you didn't have to but i did it and so this was uh i think an orange week so i did like a lot of orange and hot a hot pink together this turned out pretty cool so i'll have to uh jelly print again with bright colors like that i don't do that too often this is cool i need a jelly print too with um purple isn't that fabulous, this page right here? This is using all metallics, metallic purple, metallic golds on black paper. That came out pretty cool. These are all really cool, vintage-y looking pieces. They're stickers from Dollar Tree. Those aren't stickers, those are fabulousness. Yeah, I have tons of these in my stash because I love these. And a butterfly from Dollar Tree and bling from Dollar Tree. So you really can take these things and really embellish your... Um, really embellish your um, work. Another one of those orange pages. This is another cool orange page. I mixed the orange with the brown, which I thought turned out really cool. This is Mucha's work. And then um, this is a butter, this is a decal from Dollar Tree. Both these are decals from Dollar Tree. Wall decals. And look how cool up against Mucha's work it looked. So you, when you, collage is, is awesome because you can just mix so much stuff together. Again, this is um, when I did all I did shades of purple, and I love it. I need to do more shades of purple. I really, really like it. And gold. So these are all jelly prints. Jelly print, jelly print, jelly print, jelly print, jelly print, jelly print. My intuitive writing. This right here is like what I'm talking about. The the newspapers I get from that grocery store in Chinatown here in Las Vegas. You can pull things out of the newspaper like that and throw it in your collage. Again, the Gemstow stickers from Dollar Tree. 
the don't these look like Tim Holtz, you guys. I mean, they do not look like you can get those at Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through this whole thing, but I wanted to let you guys know where what what I do with them. Um also this is I'll show you this is the back of the art journal. Um this is all my jelly prints all collaged together. And then I take a um what do I take? Like a credit card and paint. And I'll just take the credit card and some paint and just go over it in sections with it. And it really looks like an old wall, doesn't it? It looks like some old wall that's been painted over and over over time. It looks like it's the paint has sloughed off. It looks like there's been posters attached to this, graffiti's been attached to it, and I love it. I love I love this. This is like this is so me. So anyway, this is me in an art journal. <laughs> okay. So let's bring the jelly plate back. I just wanted to show you guys where we're going. For those of you, especially who are new, are like, girl, what are you going to do with all this? That's what I do with it. Okay. Let me get my jelly plate back. There we go. In fact, since I said that I want, I'm going to check chat in just a second. Since I said I wanted to do some metallics, Let's do some metallic purples and stuff and on black cardstock. So let me change some things up. I'll read chat and then I'll gather the purples together, okay? The metallic purples and we'll do it on the black cardstock. Um, oh, put this down. Just a second, I have to reorganize myself. All right. All right, let me see what people are saying. Debbie said, you are so creative. Love your journal. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you so much. Melissa said, gorgeous. Thank you, girl. Uh, Donia Strokes Talk DIYs Cook and Reviews. Welcome in. Welcome in. I am doing good. How are you doing? Renee says, beautiful art journal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nellie says, love it. Thank you, girl. Renee says she's going to go back and watch the other videos. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. Okay, um, Lori has a question. She says, um, would rub-on transfer stick on top of the gel print? Yes, and I have done that before, and it does. Because it's just acrylic paint. And, um, yeah, rub-ons do. And they got some cool rub-ons at Dollar Tree right now. Some real vintage looking ones. I ha I've only seen them in hauls, but I haven't seen them at my Dollar Trees yet. But they're on my Dollar Tree hunt list. <laughs> I always have a Dollar Tree hunt list going. Um, let me go back up real quick and see what other people are saying. Renee said, nice. Thank you very much. And then Kiwi says, oh my God, I love that. Thank you, girl. And Patty says she loves the texture plate coming through the gold. Isn't that look cool? I know I love that. And that gold on there is nothing, is, is just what keeps sticking to this plate. And it just like comes up and it comes up like it, like I, like gold flakes is what it looks like. It's, it's cool. I'm, I'm loving it. Patty said, so cool. And then Natalie said, yes, I want to see what you use that for. So I just showed that. Oh, Kiwi, it's okay. Kiwi says, so sorry for being late. I usually take a nap for an hour before Sunday, before Sunday live. And today I had to break up for a fight between my 17 year old and my nine year old before I got to lay down. Understood. <laughs> okay. Patty says she thinks that that gold text that I told you that's on the, some of the jelly pl prints she sent me, she says she thinks it is, um, probably gold texture paste to a stencil girl it's fabulous i want to do something like that mari says your table's getting smaller like mine yes it is getting smaller and this thing okay you guys what i have is okay i have a dresser and this right here this is um i call this this table is a door which i got for free on the side of the road because i'm a scavenger but i painted it this painting right here is called soul painting and I have videos on this too, where I've done soul painting and I've actually, I do it on canvases, but I wanted to do it on this door for my work table. So you know how big a door is. Okay. I filled the whole damn table. 
it's ridiculous. Like, why am I running out of, out of room when I have a door as my table? Because I'm crazy. That's why. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me finish reading what people are saying. Uh, okay. Kiwi told me, okay, that's what the, the yarn is. Okay. Kiwi, she, I told you she won that big thing of yarn from, um, bag o day. It's called, um, Malabrigo Rio. Yes. And it's a really beautiful, nice yarn. Um, I'm sure it's super wash Merino and very soft. I've never used it or seen, I've seen it on videos, but I've never had any either. It's expensive. Uh, Lori, hey Lori, if I haven't said hi to you, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, Lori says, hi Angie, I'm enjoying watching and trying to hold back, starting a whole new craft. <laughs> Good luck, Lori. <laughs> Especially since I, I have a video on how to make this jelly plate, okay? And you can spend 15 bucks and have an 11 by 17 jelly plate on a cookie sheet. <laughs> You're like, girl, shut up. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let me go back down to the bottom. I think I've talked to everybody. I think Renee said beautiful art journal. I think I read that already. And thank you, girl. Okay. So let's now switch to some metallics. What time is it? Jeez, the time just goes so quick. It's already 320, you guys. We're almost done today. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. Let me switch over. So I finally bought myself another pack of black cardstock because I was out of black cardstock and I had to first paint the paper black and then, oh, I hated that. So I got the black cardstock out. Um, I want to do some metallics, but I want to do metallic purple. Okay, so I have, or just at least purples. I have um, this purple here I love. I think this will be good on the jelly plate. And then this is a color shift. I think that's going to be, that, oh, this color shifts are fabulous on the jelly plate. Oh, I hear my husband banging. I just ordered you guys off of, uh, what was it? HSN or QVC? I think it was HSN. I ordered um, craft carts because they were normally like, they were expensive. They were like $175. I think I got them for $80 a piece. Um, you guys, I did it on easy pay. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, I know that still sounds expensive, $80, but you guys, I need more I need more storage and I need more counter space and um, they're not just regular carts. You guys, the carts are fabulous. They have like a count, like a, like a, like a counter on top of them. Once I get them done, I'll try to take a picture and put it on my community page so you guys can see these because they are fabulous and they're right. I believe it's H S. it's either HSN or QVC, but I'm pretty sure it's H H S N. So I'll put that information on the picture and I'll put it in my community page. So yeah, I had to get them. And I hear my husband banging right now, so I think he's putting those together. Okay, um, you know what else we're going to do? I got these. Aren't these fabulous? $1.24. I don't know what they were before. On clearance, at the Hobby Lobby clearance. These would be fabulous, don't you think? Look how gorgeous that is. Let me put some of that on there. Okay, let me get some more purples. Uh, we'll use this purple here. What else do we got? Let me let me look over here. Let's see what else I have. <gasps> Just a second, people. Just a second. If you guys could see this room, you would laugh yourself to death. You'd be like, girl, girl. This color would go good with the purples, wouldn't it? We'll put that on there. You'd be like, girl, you need to do something with yourself because you're a mess. It's an organized mess, though. I mean, it was actually perfectly clean because I cleaned that before I came on today, but, you know, when you start doing this stuff, a mess happens. All right, I'm just looking to make sure that we have all the colors I want to use. Okay. At least this is good to start out with. Ooh, we got to have some gold, too. All right. This is what we're going to do. I wish I had more of this color shift because this alone... It's fabulous. I need to buy some more of this. Oh, I know what happened. Walmart used to carry this. It was the best price at Walmart. And they 
at least at one of my Walmart, a, a couple of my Walmarts, I've been looking for the folk art paints and specifically the color shifts. And they're not carrying the color shifts or folk art. They're carrying, I don't know, I think their own brand, that Apple brand. I don't know what their brand is. I was very perturbed because Hobby Lobby has this, but it's way more expensive at Hobby Lobby. So anyway, I'll have to catch a sale. Or I could, there's a novel idea. I could just pay full price. <laughs> no, I don't want to pay full price. If anybody knows me, you guys know I'm cheap. I'm real cheap. Right, let's use this color. This color is gorgeous. This is the, is this Master's Touch? This is the, yeah, this is Master's Touch. These are nice. These are $12.99. These are nice to get when they're the 50% off because you're only paying six bucks for a big old huge thing of paint. These are fabulous. But about three years ago, they were clearancing. The, they had another brand that looked just like this. It was, wasn't was called Master's Touch. It was called something else, but it was basically the same one. I think it was their old bottles. They were clearancing them out. I got these for like, I think $1.50. I bought a ton of them. It was like three years ago. Ooh, that color's going to be gorgeous on there. Okay, and then let's do... Let's do this. It's a really pretty color. And then let's throw some of this in there. This glitter paint. Is it paint or glue? Hopefully it's not glue and ruin my damn jelly plate. No, I threw this on the jelly plate before. It's paint. That's what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Oh, I haven't even used this one yet. I'm glad I busted this out since I haven't even used it yet. What the heck am I doing? Because <laughs> I buy too much crap, that's why. But you guys, I buy a lot of stuff because... I get it on clearance. I wait till clearance is coming, then that's when I buy. If it's not on clearance or sale, I usually don't buy it. And I really like clearance. Don't we all? Okay. All right. Let's see what we come up with here. Oh, this is gonna be pretty. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my roll off my roll off sheet uh, a bl some black card sock. So we can take advantage of. I'm gonna show you guys my roll off. How beautiful it is! You guys see that? This is just the color shift paint. Look how fabulous that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? That's the color shift on black paper. Just rolling off. Fabulous. Okay. I put a lot of paint on here. Why is that not mixing in? Mix in. What the heck? Alright. Alright. You know, let's do the, that Aztec calendar again. This thing. I think that'll look really pretty. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. I'm glad I'm doing this because I think I'm out of a lot of the metallic-y, purpley colors on black cardstock, so. 
or just the metallics on black cardstock. I think I'm pretty low on that. Doing that 100 days of collage, you use a lot of collage papers. Okay, there we go. I'm glad I stopped and showed you guys like what 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 I was doing and where I was heading towards. For those of you guys who um, haven't seen it, because I think that kind of helps <clears throat> know why I'm making these. And if you decide to jelly print, what you can make with them. So you know where you're going. Okay. Okay. I'll check chat here in just a second. Let's pull these up and see what magic we get. All right, let me see if I like this. For a second, I have to fold them like this when they first come off this cardstock. So they, okay, there we go. Huh. I kind well. All right, this is what this is the deal with this one. I like it in spots. Okay, let me bring it up close. And that's all you need for collage. It's just to pull off what you like. Like, I like it right here, like this. Okay. I like this over here. I like this right here. I like this at the bottom. So I'm going to leave this one in. I like the different, oh, you know what? And now that I'm looking at I like this part right here. So I like it in parts. And that's how I'll collage with that. Ooh, I love this one. Check out this one. This one, I love. I love the whole thing. Just a second, I gotta fold it in like this because it folds in on itself. There we go. Look at this one. Gorgeous. That's what I'm talking about. Very beautiful. Very, 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 very beautiful. I love it. And I didn't even put turquoise on the plate. Look how there was turquoise on the plate and it just brought and it just uh, pulled up the turquoise on there. Fabulous. That's pretty. All right, let's do some more. Let's do some more on here. I'm just looking to see if I I also want to do some metallics um, in the browns of course like I want to use this one I want to use this what else I'm gonna do a few more of the purples though before I do it but I have all these cool metallic colors see I got these a long time ago. I was at Home Depot and they were clearancing them out for like a dollar or two. These big tubs of paint, Martha Stewart, aren't those fabulous? Yeah, love those. I've had them for years. They never dried out. They're just fabulous. This one I got at Hobby Lobby when they were clearancing theirs out, that color. It's an art deco, or it's a deco art. Early $9.99, got it for $2.50. And the reason I tell you guys these things all the time is so you guys know where to get these things. So you know where to get them, how much you can pay for them if you get them on clearance. And so you guys can collect your art supplies and save money. Because otherwise, look, that one paint was $9. Like, this stuff can be expensive if you don't do it right. So I like to share where I get stuff and how much I'm paying for it so that you can do the same. Okay, we're gonna put this color shift right in the middle. Oh, I'm at the bottom of the color shift. And they have this color shift in all colors. Hopefully, you know what? Since Hobby Lobby has their paint on clearance, hopefully they, at uh, clearance sale, hopefully they have this color shift on sale. And um, I'll pick up some more of these in different colors because they're fabulous. <clears throat> this purple right here, oh, this was the deal. Okay, this Americana, Americana acrylic paint, it's not it's not cheap for this little bottle. It's like two fifty, three bucks. Especially for this color, brilliant purple. I got it for thirty four cents. They had like three or four on the shelf. You know I took them all. I was like, yes, ma'am. Get in the cart. Okay. 
throw some more of that on there. And um, let's throw some gold in here. And then I'll, I see chat moving, so I'll read chat in a second. Oh, and that's another thing. If you guys have something you want, a question you want me to answer or just a message you want me to see put, and you're not talking to each other, put it in caps. I almost forgot. I forgot to say that. And um, Artsy Girl, she's my moderator. Um, something bad happened to her phone, she said. So she has to get a new phone. It's going to take a couple days. So she'll be back next week. So if you guys are wondering where Artsy Girl is... She's always here. I miss her. She might be listening in. Is she? Well, no. She, no, because that's how she looks. Well, I think that's how she watches YouTube is on her phone. I think that's what she said. I can't exactly remember. But anyway, she'll be back next week. I was like, oh, no, not your phone. Our phones have become like life now. We can't live without our phones. <laughs> It's kind of horrible, but it's true. I can't live without my phone. I, I, I tape my YouTube videos on my phone. I edit my videos on my phone. Um, I do my Instagram on my phone. Oh my gosh. I do a lot on my phone. And the most important thing is I uh, record my, my videos on my phone. So... Oh, this is pretty. Okay, what design do we want to put on here? <clears throat> this is another, this is a clock. This will be really pretty. This is a clock texture plate. It has a bunch of cool stuff on it. We'll use that. And this is cool. It's like an, uh, an inky quill pen with script and music notes and just a bunch of fabulousness. So let's use this. And you know what? I could cut this off. I'm going to cut this off the top, this little hang tag, because I don't hang mine up. And it just wastes space. So let's just cut it off. <laughs> Some people are like, girl, you just cut that? <laughs> okay. And I see, um, I see the, I see the, out of my side view, I see um, chat going. So I will check chat here in just a second. Let's just do this, make these pulls. Okay. Let's mix it up. Let's put this one over here. And let's take this one. Let's first press it down. Get a good impression. Okay, and then let's put this one over here. And let's get a good impression here. Okay, and then we have a little space down here, so um, we can throw a little something down there. Okay, I have a, my bath mat, and hopefully I have it. Let's see. Just a second. Okay. Oh, I have such a mess going. This is the bath mat I was talking about. You can cut it up in pieces. See? Fabulous, huh? So we'll just stick that at the bottom. Give us a little texture and then you can cut that bath mat up from Dollar Tree and have two sections like this and then have one with three sections like that there we go okay so now let's take some prints of this there we go In about 10 minutes, we'll be doing the giveaway, you guys. So don't leave yet, you guys, because we're going to do a giveaway in just about 10 minutes. Okay. 
I didn't get to the, um, remember I said I wanted to do some printing. I wanted to do, take some of my old jelly prints and then use a stencil on top. I didn't get a chance to do that. So we'll do it next week. We will do it next week. Time goes so fast. It's like amazing. You think two hours is a long, is a long live, but it's not. It, it goes by quick. All right, let's see. Oh, shoot. What am I doing, you guys? I meant to do this on black paper. Why did I just do this on plain paper? What am I doing? But at any rate, <laughs> this still came out really cool. Look at this. We'll do this again. I'll just do the same colors, do it again, and we'll do it on black paper. But this came out cool. I'm glad I made this mistake. Look how fabulous that looks. That's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So grungy. So grungy purple and pink. Very, very pretty. I can't believe I just did that. Like, okay, you're supposed to do that on black paper. That was the whole purpose of this. This came out pretty cool, too. Look at this. Very cool. All right, let's put the colors back on here again. And do it right with the black paper. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Messing up. That's what I'm doing. And look, I'm almost out of this. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's that. There we go. Okay, that's enough of that. All right. So now we're going to look at this awesomeness on the black paper. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. And we'll just do the same exact thing again. Because I want to see this on the black paper. Okay, I need more of this color shift. I want to get this color shift in all the different colors. Like, yeah, I want to get these in a lot of different colors. So, you guys know where I'm going tomorrow. Hobby Lobby! One of my favorite places to shop besides Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby. And I'm lucky Hobby Lobby is, um, I used to only have a Hobby Lobby by me that was like, oh, 40, 40, 45 minutes away to an hour, depending on traffic. It was horrible. But now they built one by me. It's, we've had it for like the last three or four years. It's like two minutes from the house. In fact, where I live is awesome. Okay, 30 seconds from me is a Dollar Tree. Then if I go to Hobby Lobby, that's five minutes away. So it's Hobby Lobby in the same shopping center, Dollar Tree, another Dollar Tree, and across the street, Joann's. It's the bomb. <laughs> and down the street from that is Michael's. And next to Michael's is 99 cent store. So it's pretty cool. I got a lot of ways to, to spend my money. <laughs> Okay, so let's do these again, and then I'll check chat. I'm sure there's plenty of chat to read since I just went through all this. Okay, put that there. I'll put this here. Make sure we get a good impression to the plate. Okay. Bam. And then let's do this one here and this one here. <clears throat> and then in the middle there, remember we used, well, we used it at the bottom last time, but this time we'll just do it. No major, we'll just do it in the center. Put that in the center so we have some impression there too. There we go. I don't know why I'm not using my roller like this. That's what I usually do. It's a lot easier. Okay. Bam. Done. Fabulous. Okay, now let's use black paper this time. Ooh, Angela. Hey, Kiwi. Can you believe that I was confused with your name? Okay. 
I was confused. Kiwi sent me a package, and I've had it for like four or five days. Just confused. Okay, I know Kiwi, Kiwi's Crochet Corner, as Kiwi. I don't know her as Adrian. <laughs> I'm sure she said her name's Adrian. I just know. Her. I just think of her as Kiwi. Okay, so she said she sent me something. She said it showed that that I already got the package, and I'm 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 thinking that, and I thought it was this a package from Adrian. Well, Adrian and Kiwi are the same person. <laughs> and the whole time I'm thinking I'm talking to two different people. <laughs> Just confusing Kiwi, I'm sure. She's like, girl, what is your problem? Are you on drugs or what? <laughs> it don't take much to get me confused anyway. You guys, it's not easy keeping up with everybody's real names and then their channel names and then... Um, and then, um, putting them together. Anyway. All right. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I love it. Okay. Let me, uh, first I have to bend it a little bit. Yeah. This came out really pretty. Okay. Just a second. You have to, it's the heavy cardstock. I don't know why, but you, the paper, you don't have to bend like this, but you have to bend it like this. So that it lays flat. There we go. Look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. I love it. Very, very pretty. Ooh. Now this is the one that has the color shift in it. And you guys are going to see why I want more color shift. Okay. Check out the color shift. <gasps> Isn't that fabulous? I'm so obsessed. I don't know why I want this on this side. Look at that. Let me see. You can see it better like this. Yeah, you can see it better like that. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And then look at that other side. Isn't that just so grungy, purple fabulousness? Oh, I love it. And I've done it where I've just done color shift. I didn't put anything else. I just put color shift on the whole plate. Then I put my uh, whatever texture plate I want to use. And it comes out so fabulous. I just don't have enough of the damn stuff today. So, I will get more tomorrow. And um, when we play with the jelly plate again, we'll play with color shifts. Because look how, I mean, look how fabulous the color shift is. It's like ridiculous. Look how beautiful that is. Oh. All right, let me look at chat. Because I have not looked at chat forever. And let me see what you guys are saying. <coughs> Uh, Patty says, cool, love the gold peeking through. Isn't it fabulous? I, I, I do too. I really, really do. Snowbird says, yummy. Uh, Natalie says, I love that gold. Debbie says, stunning. Thanks, guys. Melissa says, so cool. Thank you, guys. Uh, Donia Stroke says, I have not been to Hobby Lobby yet. They opened up here about a year ago, but I'll be going soon. Uh, Mike's and DT are my spots. And sometimes Joanne's for sure. Oh, Michael's. Okay. Yeah, girl, you got to go to the Hobby Lobby. Okay. Hobby Lobby can be kind of expensive. Like all the craft stores can be expensive. But when they have their sales, they have a sale every week. And then whatever's not on sale one week, it's, it'll be on sale the next week. So it's usually either somewhere between 30 to 50% off. So Hobby Lobby for their sales are great every week. And then their clearances, oh, those are even better. I'm trying to look for something that's clearance. Okay, like, for example, this paint. Hobby Lobby, okay? This is what used to be Master's Touch. It was called Fine Touch. Anyway, this was regularly $29, 74 cents. So this is what I'm saying. When Hobby Lobby clearances their stuff out, they clearance. So you gotta, you gotta, gotta go to Hobby Lobby. And watch Hobby Lobby clearances here on YouTube so you know what stuff is on clearance and you can go get the good stuff. Um... Okay, SDL, welcome, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, SDL says uh, she loves the clock and the music notes. Thank you. 
Um, and then SDL says, what are those things called that you are using? Um, these are, okay, um, they're like texture plates. And I got these from uh, Zandra here on YouTube. And um, it came in a packet. But I think she put the packet together when she was, because she was clearancing things out because she was closing her Etsy store. So I can't even tell you where to get these at. Patty said she got some of these, like the one that had the clock on it, this one. She, Patty said she got these on Amazon. Patty, what do you, what, what do, what kind of search do you do for these, for these kind of texture plates? Cause I got mine from Zandra, so I'm not really sure. So, uh, Patty will tell us in a second. Okay. Um, you got them on eBay. What do you think you search under Patty for those? I don't even know what you call them. I just call them like texture plates. Um, let me see what other people are saying. Okay. <gasps> Lori Armstrong. She's like, what is this whole craft called? <laughs> it's called jelly, jelly, jelly printing, jelly printing on the jelly plate. SDL says, oh yes, I've been to your streams too, Patty. Oh, okay, cool. SDL's been to Patty's streams already. Yeah. This whole thing we're doing is called jelly printing. And then we're going to take these jelly prints and do collages. Okay, Patty said, I can't remember the brand, but I think the, the search is texture plate Mayan calendar. Yes, you're right, because it is a Mayan calendar. Yeah. So if you want the calendar, look under Mayan texture plates, and then just look under texture plates, period, and see what comes up. Yes, uh, Lori, jelly printing. And Lori, I have a video on how to make this jelly plate. It's made on a uh, cookie sheet. And I'm making a big, huge one. This one's 11 by 17. I also tell you how to make a smaller one, which is like a 10 by, well, regular size one, like a 10 by 12. I have a video on it. You can look under um, my, you can look under my uh, playlist under uh, mixed media and I'll show you how to make this jelly plate or a smaller one, like a regular size one. But you know me, I'm extra. I have to have a big plate. <laughs> Cause I'm crazy. Okay. Um, Donia said, uh, they put four towns from me. My driving is just starting for me again. My daughter's going to take me. I'm in love with your art. Oh, Donia. Thank you. And I'm so happy you get to, uh, you get to go soon. Okay. Let me see what people are saying up above. Uh, Natalie says never a mess up. It's meant to be true. And then, you know what? I ended up liking it on the planer, on the beige white sheet of paper. I'm like, oh, okay, this looks cool. Uh, Donia says she loves it. Melissa says, looks amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, Nellie says it's pretty. Thank you. Um, Donia, I am watching two different art projects you were doing. <laughs> um, hey, Native Educator, how are you doing? I haven't said hi to you yet. And then uh, Native Educator says, love the girly colors. Thank you. Um, Donia says, I am watching watching on TV and commenting on my laptop. Oh, awesome. I love watching YouTube on my TV. I do um, I do Zumba and I do mi um, MixFit. And I've collected a whole bunch of, um, of routines, dance routines. Um, and I have a playlist. You can go to my playlist if you want to look at it. And um, it, there's these guys. They're just awesome and they do this zumba and this mix fit so i i have it on my on my playlist on my ipad and i turn it on and then i connect that to my uh, tv and i do my zumba my, my mix fit to work out and uh i started doing that when you know coronavirus and we all had to stay home and the gym was closed and um i've been doing it now ever since at the house on my big screen tv from my ipad i love it okay uh, what, what else did I miss? Uh, Nor uh, Snowbird says, Metallic's on black. Beautiful. Isn't it pretty? I love it. Uh, Debbie said, Auntie, do you ever... Sorry, guys. Uh, okay, wait. I was just reading something. Okay, Debbie said, Angie, do you ever put the inked up texture plate onto your roll-up sheet? Wait, do you ever put the inked up texture plate onto your roll-up sheet oh no but i'll have to try that 
Uh, now he says, oh, yes, I like it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Natalie says, that's going to be gorgeous. I'm watching you while finishing dinner up at 6.30 in New York. Cool. See, this is what I'm talking about, the time difference. Like, it's only going to be 4 o'clock here, but she's already 6 o'clock there, 6.30. It's crazy. Uh, Patty says, turquoise and purple is my fave combo. Isn't it? I love it, too. Uh, Kiwi says, you should do a craft room tour. Okay, I have a craft room slash yarn room, and then I have an art studio. It's just two, it's just two bedrooms that I've... <laughs> that I've taken over. But, um, so I am going to do a craft room slash yarn room tour soon because people want to see that. And then, um, and I haven't done one since the beginning of my channel, which was like, you know, 10, 11, 12 years ago. But my art studio, I don't have it anywhere how I want it. I have it organized the way I want, but I don't have it looking the way I want. So it'll be a while before I do my art studio. But I'll do the craft room slash uh, yarn room here shortly. Um, Renee says, beautiful art journal. Thank you. Okay, so let me make sure I got everyone. Okay, Donia says, I cannot wait. I told my daughter to bring lunch. <laughs> um, oh, Carolyn says she received her happy mail. Thank goodness, Carolyn. Carolyn, wait, Carolyn, did you just get in here? Welcome, girl. Um, thank God. Okay, Carolyn, what I can't believe is that your happy mail, your, that your package went all the way to California. You live here in Vegas with me. Why in the world would your package be sent to California? It's ridiculous. And I think that's what's been happening. Like, your packages take forever. And you're always like, I haven't got it yet. It goes to California and then comes back. What are they doing? All they have to do is go down the street. It's a 20-minute drive. 20, 30 minutes, because you live 20, 30 minutes, I think, away from me. Because you live on the east side. What in the world are they doing sending your package to California? Anyway, I'm so glad you got it. Thank goodness. Now that I just had a conniption about that, but. Uh, oh, Debbie, you're in Australia. And it's almost nine there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Debbie and anybody else who doesn't live in the U.S. Okay, we're about to do a giveaway, right? And you guys know. Our, our postal service is just out of hand. Like, the prices just went up again. Like, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I won't even go off on that tangent about the postal prices. So, Debbie, and anybody else who doesn't live in the country, um, I will give you, um, if you if you win any, if you win any of the um, giveaways, um, you guys can, um, I'll give you access to my printables where you can download them for free. Okay? So, that's what you guys will get for people who live in um, another country. Just because so, it's just so ridiculously expensive just it's ridiculously expensive just to send stuff to the u.s so yeah anyway so sorry about that okay you guys so let me just do a quick cleanup here and we'll do a two giveaways okay so let me put this away and i always leave the paint on my jelly plate for the next session and then this will come off onto whatever else i do which will be cool okay so let me put this away let me get out the stuff for the giveaway so just a second talk among yourselves for a minute or two let me move over my jelly plants before I step all over them and get paint on my socks we don't really want paint on my socks okay what do we got going here oh all right let me move this out of the way too second <clears throat> I just had my room my studio here so clean and now it's a wreck again okay I'm gonna bust out some jelly plate stuff printing stuff okay remember I used these on the jelly plate aren't these fabulous these are those uh, base plates for Legos <laughs> now I'm gonna give you two of them if you this is a choice for whoever wins because one of them you can leave whole and use the whole thing on the jelly plate this one you can cut up like cut up here cut it into a square cut it to just like this cut it to three cut it to half so you can make a bunch of plates out of just those two okay so that's for the jelly plate i got another thing for the jelly plate i didn't use it today but this is fabulous on the jelly plate i've used it a lot that's why i didn't use it today but these are the poppers and both of these, if you want to look for these, this is all at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. 
these poppers right here make great texture plates on the jelly plate okay so you can have that choice uh what else do we got oh my printables we'll go through those in a second um oh i didn't have july printables i got so busy this month you guys um i i started doing another live on fridays um for knitting and crochet and um any of you guys are welcome to come it's every friday morning at 8 30 a.m pacific time if you're into yarn crochet or yarn and um you're welcome but I, I got busy with that and putting that all together and a few other things so we're still going to go with june's principles for uh for, for for this month and then um i'll do principles again starting next month i just got a little bit behind so sorry about that okay so there's that um here are some journals of some artwork i do this type of artwork too i call this kind of like advanced collage and then I made prints of them, and then I applied them to these um, journals and made journals out of them. So this will also be part of the giveaway. And what else? What else? Um, I'm going to see if I want to do anything else. Oh, I haven't shown you guys these for a while. Desert Bloom's coloring book. And that coloring book. Okay. So that's it for today. Oh, I know one more thing I want to do. Because where is it? Whoever said they hadn't been to Hobby Lobby before, this is the other thing when they have the clearances. These are uh, Karen, Karen Dosh wax pastels, but they're water soluble. These are fabulous. Um... These were really like $14. I got them for $3.50 on clearance, you guys. Fabulous. Okay, so that also be in the giveaway. And let me just run through my printables in case you want to choose the printables for your winnings, whoever the winners are. Okay, throw these over here. Let's go through these really quick. These were all jelly prints. Jelly prints with my intuitive writing on it jelly print with a, a stencil on top more jelly prints more jelly prints that right there is is this thing isn't that cool on the jelly plate okay jelly jelly print jelly print and jelly print and then my intuitive writing on more jelly prints And then um, jelly print with intuitive writing. More jelly print intuitive writing. This is a jelly print here with a uh, Coco Pelli um, that I hand drew on here. And um, if you like these printables, um, I have, I have um, every month I've done printables except for this month, uh, January until June. Um, and they're in my Etsy shop. Every five pages is $2.50 and you print them out yourself. So if you're interested in doing that and a link to my Etsy shop will be below. Okay. So there's that. All right. So I got a lot going here. Okay. So for the giveaway, the rules are, I hate rules. Anyway, the rules are this, um, only, uh, do one number. Um, whoever gets the number first, I call it right away, even if everyone hasn't got their numbers in, because it's the easiest way for me to see it. Um, yeah, because we've got like 22 people watching, so yeah, that'll be a lot of numbers. And um, what else? Um, got my brain's going blank. Um, I'll, I'll, okay, after a few minutes, I'll call it, and after I call it, I'll give it a few more seconds, because we do have a lag in time. If you win the first time, you can't join the second time just to give more people a chance to win. And I think that's it. And if I if any, if there's anything else that needs to be said, <laughs> I'll call it then. Okay, so let me get out paper and pen. Oh, this marker will work better. And I need to drink some water. Okay, let me look at chat really quick to see if anybody has any last minute questions or comments. 
Oh, okay. Let me explain. SDL, you get to choose. <laughs> you can choose this, the texture plates. You can choose one, either one of these journals. You can choose this. You can choose this. You can choose one of the coloring books or you can choose the printables. So it's a choice. Uh, hey, Barbara, how are you doing? We're doing the giveaway right now here. We're at the end and we're going to do a giveaway. So you got, you came in just in time for the giveaway. Uh, um, Native Educator says, can you quickly show the journals? Okay, sorry. So th this is the journal here. And this is my artwork. My, I did a, this collaging all together. I call it advanced collaging. That's what I call it. I learned it from a lady named Amber Hitchcock. This is how she does collage. And I just love it. Isn't it just a cool style? I did it last week on a live. One of these type of collages. Sorry about that sun coming through. There we go. Um, and it's on, um, it's on a composition notebook. So this is one of my, I made a print of my artwork and then just the inside. And then this one's another one of that same type of advanced collage. Okay, so there's those. Um, oh, let me see. Natalie says she wants to learn to crochet. Girl, I learned, I don't crochet, I knit, but I, am, I want to learn to crochet. That's my next thing on my list that I want to learn, but I do knit. And um, just go on YouTube and put in how to learn to crochet and a ton of videos are going to come up and then start looking at them. And then you're going to, you're going to eventually find somebody that you like really understand the way they explain it and then follow that person and then follow them. And that's how I learned to knit. I found a few people that I love the way they taught knitting and then I took off from there. And then start um, watching all the crochet channels, like my channel on Friday morning, if you can make it to the live, if not, just watch the replay. And then from there, you, and then just start um, joining different crochet channels and knitting channels and you're just gonna learn so much, so. Okay. Um, Renee says, I will keep watching, but not starting any new crafts. Too much yarn to buy and work. <laughs> Girl, I understand. Joan said, can lurkers enter giveaways? Yeah, you know what? Um, only if you just if you come on and you come on into the chat, you can. It's only for people that are in the chat. You're welcome, Debbie. Okay. Uh, Donia says, I knit. My goal is to crochet this year. Me too. Barbara says, I crochet. I do all kinds of crafts, but I never learned how to knit yet. I know. It's it's funny how we either know how to... There's not very many people that do both, but I want to be by... What is that called? You're by, by knitter crochet? Something like that. Somebody said that they're by. They knit and they crochet. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Okay. So we're going to start the giveaway. Okay. Let me choose a number. Don't go yet. Hey, Kiwi, we're starting the giveaway. <laughs> Wait, how many people are in the chat right now? 19. Okay, let me choose a number. Don't go yet. Okay, I chose a number. 1 through 19. Go. Start choosing numbers. Mari says crochet. I guess she crochets. Cool. Oh, that's another rule. Um... If you guys, if nobody guesses my number, it's the closest number rounding up. That's probably the most important rule there is, and I didn't even say it. Okay, I'm going to... I've already... Okay, I'm not going to say anything yet. <laughs> is that everybody that's going to put numbers in? Okay, we're still going. <laughs> Carolyn, you decided what number you wanted? <laughs> You're like, do I want one or do I want 14? <laughs> 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 
how do is it, you say how do you pick a number i just pick a number in my head one through 18 and then you guys have to guess what number I, I wrote down so on this pad of paper i have a number written down on the other side that's how i do it so i just choose a number in my head and then somebody has to guess the number that's it Okay, so it looks like everyone has put their number in. I usually call the number right when I see it, but there's enough people. There's not, there's not too many people here where I can't just wait for everybody to put their number in. So I went ahead and let everybody put their number in. And I think, you know, I'm going to change the rules a little bit. I think I'm not going to call the number right away when I see it. I'll let everyone put their number in. And then once we start getting, like, more people, more than 20 people, like 30, 40 people, I may have to do it then. But right now... 20 people, it's enough for me to be able to keep track. <laughs> Carolyn said, I was trying for 14, but I only injured one. <laughs> That's okay, girl. I figured something happened. Okay, you guys, I'm about to call it. Okay. So the number is, I'm going to turn it over. Number 15. So the person who got 15 is SDL. She was at least the first person to, to get to 15. I don't know if anybody else got it. No, no one else got 15, but SDL got it. Congratulations, SDL. So um, SDL, what um, what do you want for your winnings? And are you in the US? Are you in the United States? <gasps> SDL, wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> Okay, sweetie, so what 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 uh, what do you want? You can choose from the array of stuff. So I'm just waiting to see what SDL wants, and then we'll do one more giveaway, guys. Okay, you're in the UK. Okay, so you'll do the printables. Okay, so um, SDL, what you need to do is in about an hour, I will have um, a link to my Etsy shop in about an hour, okay? Because everything will be up in an hour. This live will be up in an hour. Okay, so um, so in about an hour, go to come back to this video and look and you'll see my Etsy shop, a link. Click on the link to my Etsy shop. You'll go to my Etsy shop in the right-hand corner, it'll say contacts. That's right there is where you can... Um, uh, put in that you want the printables and then from there I will give you a link to where you can download the printables okay so just say hey it's me SDL I won the printables and then I'll give you the link to um, where to download them and what it is it, it's a Facebook group that's not public um, and that's where I put the printables but I so what will happen is I'll have to approve you to the Facebook group after I, okay so I'll give you a link you go to the link and then I'll approve you and then you can come on in and then you can download, okay? It's very simple and I give you the directions. It's very simple. It may sound more than it is. But anyway, let me put down printables. Also, if you don't want to wait an hour, you can go to any of my videos. All my videos have a link to my Etsy shop. So either way, okay? All right, so SDL, there you go, printables. Oh, wait, let's, so let's do an, let, okay, okay, Etsy, then contact, email, you right. Okay, so you go to my, you go, you uh, go to my Etsy shop, which there's a link in the description of this video or any of my videos, and then when you get to the Etsy, in the right-hand corner, it says contacts, just hit that, and that's where you can leave a message. That's where you can say, hey, I won printables, and then I will give you a link, okay, to where you download the printables, Okay. All right, so we're going to do one more giveaway here. Let me write a number down, so don't go yet, you guys. Don't go yet. Don't go until I say go. Um, I have to, uh, let me write down a number. How many people is there? Okay, 16. Okay, so 1 through 16, go. is itching
<laughs> okay, Patty. Patty goes, that was 11. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, you can only answer once, SDL. Exactly. Just once. Because it happened. Someone answered twice and she won twice. I had to give it to her because I didn't have that as one of the rules. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I felt bad because I'm like, oh, that probably wasn't fair. But we can only do what we can do. And I'm always trying my best. So to make it fair for everybody. Okay. Are people still going? Hey, Christina, how are you doing? Good to have you. Oh, yeah. Duh. I, I forgot you're getting printables. SDL goes, ha ha. I would just ask for more printables. <laughs> yeah. You know what? If you were able in it twice, you could just get, an, you can get, you could get maze printables. So anyway, but like I said, that happened one time and I felt bad. I was like, oh, yay. Christina, do you, um, do you crochet or knit? Is that where I've seen you before, 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 um, my life? Have I seen you in other lives like crochet or knit? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to give you guys another couple seconds. I'm going to call it. Oh, Christina said she was on earlier and then she had to walk her poppy. Okay. I thought I'd seen your name, but I wasn't sure. Okay, you guys, I'm going to call it. I'm going to give it a few seconds. Yes, I thought you, I thought I've seen you in, uh, uh, I thought I saw, okay, I did see you Friday at the, in crochet. Yay, thank you, Christina, for supporting me in the, in the, um, on Fridays, too. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to give it a couple more seconds, and then I'm going to call it. All right, I'm going to call it, because I don't see anybody else. So, uh, the number that won is number eight. So number eight, I think Mari is the one who got it, who called, who did that first. Is it Mari? Yes. So Mari, congratulations. Yay. So Mari, what do you want? While Mari decides what she wants, I'm going to make a few announcements while she decides what she wants. So um, anybody who, um, um, every Sunday we're here at two o'clock. Pacific time. If this, if this is your first time today, it's every Sunday, two o'clock Pacific time for a couple of, for two hours. We do two giveaways like you're seeing now. Now I also have another, I go live again on Friday mornings, 8 30 AM Pacific time. And that's if you're a knitter, a crocheter, or if you have a love of fiber or yarn, or you just want to come hang out and have a party. I call it Angie's art part, Angie's yarn party. If you just want to come and hang out and have fun. Also, I give away some yarn. Um, and you can knit crochet, you can art along if you want and just have fun and come in and join us. So everyone's welcome. Um, oh, she didn't see the prizes. Okay. Um, thank you, Debbie. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I was going to, any more announcements. I think that's it. Okay. So girl, this is what it is. Uh, these are two journals I've made. So either this journal, this is my artwork, my collaging, or this one. Karen Dosh. Wax pastels, water soluble. Printables for June. You've probably seen these because you've been here before. Um, and the printables are all my jelly prints. Um, these right here, a set of these for the jelly plate. Coloring books, adult coloring books. Either one of these, this one or this one. And then these right here are, um, these are base plates for Legos, but I use them as texture plates on the jelly plate. So. And these are for the jelly plate also. That's what I use them for, these poppers. Okay, so let me know what you want, Mari. <clears throat> Just waiting for Mari to see what she wants. Yeah, uh, Friday was my first time, my first uh, live video for the knitting and crocheting, and it was a lot of fun. Okay, you want the wax pastels? Okay. You got it, girl. You got it, Mari. So there's that for you. Okay. So you are all set. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much. You guys, you guys are awesome. I love all of you guys. Thank you guys for showing up every Sunday. And welcome all my newbies. If this is your first time here, 
welcome welcome thank you guys for popping in and staying for a couple hours or for as long as you can i appreciate it and i think that's it for this one you guys oh okay mari says i have a new address i moved i'll dm you okay yeah go to my um go to my etsy shop in the link below and uh let me know because yeah i have sent you stuff before so give me your new address that sounds good SDL says she recently bought the packs, the, the wax pastels. They're pretty good. Yeah, they're they're pretty good. I like them too. All right, you guys. That is it for today. Oh, excuse me. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys next Sunday or Friday if you want to come to my other live, Friday morning, 8.30 a.m. If not, next Sunday, 2 o'clock Pacific time. All right. Talk to you guys next week. Bye.